EOQ stands for what? Economic order quantity. Static means same to same. It will not change. Dynamic means keep fluctuating. What will be your cost of order? What will be your cost of your production? Or as your cost of carrying. So everything it will give you clearly. Deterioration means it should not be perished. You have to keep it safely. Hello everyone, this is your other sir, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. So we are in a session 4 of your topic called Cost Accounting. Under Cost Accounting, we are doing the topic Material. Now, in Material, as I told you, you have many subtopics like Stock Levels, EOQ, ABC Analysis, as well as LIFO, as well as FIFO. Now, in today's session, we will discuss about EOQ. Now, economic order quantity. Now, in this EOQ, we will discuss what do you mean by EOQ, the assumptions of EOQ, the cost included in EOQ, how EOQ saves your cost. Each and everything we will discuss in today's session. Now, the agenda is very simple. The agenda is EOQ concepts as well as problems on EOQ. First, we will understand the EOQ concept. Later, we'll go for your concepts or problems. Now, EOQ stands for what? Economic order quantity. What EOQ stands for? Economic order quantity. Now, so I'll give you a simple example. Hopefully I explained you in your session two of your cost accounting. Means your chapter two, session two, I have explained you everything about EOQ. Now in this, again, I'll give you small introduction about EOQ so that you will understand better. Now, normally what happened? Economic order. Quantity. Economic order quantity means what is the best quantity to order. Now, for example, you can go for like for your requirement is 500 units. Every day you need 500 units to produce your goods. For your production purpose, you need only 500 units. But but how much you should order now 500 units you have given for production purpose now your godown is how much zero how much you have in the godown zero now how much you should order now if you go for 1000 units to order why because the wholesaler he told that if you go for 500 units it will be one rupee per unit if you go for 1000 units, it will be 80 paise per unit. Now, if you go for double, you can save 20 paise per unit. Then what you will do? Will you go for this or will you go for this? If you go for 500 to order, it will be, it will cost you 1 rupee. Means 500 into 1, you are supposed to pay. 500. I am taking very least quantity. Normally in production department, it will be lakhs together. Clear? Sometimes it will be close. Now, I have taken only small quantity, a small number to make you understand. Now, if you go for 1000 quantity, 80 plus 800. If you want 1000 means it will cost you 1000 rupees, but here it is costing rupees only 800. How much you are saving? 200. Will you go for that? The answer is yes or no. Directly you will say that the answer is yes, I'll go for this only. Why? Because I can save 200. But, but the answer is your godown is very small. Your warehouse is very small. Maximum you can keep up to 700 units. How can you go for 1000 units? If you want to go for 1000 units, you have to go for one more small go down to keep the extra 300 units. To keep this go down, you are supposed to pay around 5000 rent. 
So if you want to order more means you have to store in a godown. To store in godown, you are supposed to pay rent for that. Yearly rent or monthly rent, it is around 5,000. Will you go for now? The answer is no. Everything we have to keep it in your mind. So is it worth or is it not? Should I go for 1000 units or else I'll go for 500 units? Should I order twice in a year or else I should order every month once? Everything we have to do calculation, your storage cost carrying cost. If you are buying once in a month means every month you have to send your vehicle that fuel cost will occur. If you are going for six months once only yearly twice to carry to save the fuel cost you have to pay rent for your go down to keep all the stocks. Everything you have to analyze and you have to decide that which is better. Should I go for twice, four times, yearly 12 times, or uh, yearly one time. Everything we will apply one formula. In that formula, you will get the best out of these options. Clear? This is only we call it as EOQ, economic order quantity. Now, this is done. Next. EOQ, economic order quantity. Economic order quantity is the most economic or most favorable. So, most economic means cost reduction. Your cost will be less if you go for economic order quantity. Now, our ideal quantity. Ideal means it is the best quantity. Now, of material to be ordered or purchased in each order at a time whenever fresh supply is required. Whenever you require quantity, you should apply this formula. It will show you, it will tell you what is the best option. Will you go for 1000, 500 or 700? It will tell you. Now, the ordering quantity is generally determined after taking into account the cost of ordering and the cost of carrying inventory. It will also show you what will be your cost of order, what will be your cost of your production, or as your cost of carrying. So everything it will give you clearly. Now, a large order brings more trade discount. You can go for large order because you'll get more discount, but resulting reduction in transportation cost. It will also reduce your transportation cost and in ordering cost. But see, as I explained you, a large order, if you go for 1000 units in more trade, discount you will get what you will get more discount and a reduction in transportation instead of going 10 times in one time you can bring everything now but but it may result in overstocking you have to keep it in a go down there may be chances of pilferage means there will be shortage maybe theft by your stock keeper or somebody else if they if it is a perishable goods chances of evaporating, chances of perishing. So these are the reasons and disadvantages you have if you order in bulk. I'll go for best example egg. Egg it is available for 5 rupee. Now if you go for bulk order it is available for only 3. Will you go for bulk? The answer is yes because you can save 2 rupee but but Instead of saving 2 rupees, your godown must be big and there may be chances of if egg is there means snake will come. Now, there may be chances of snake will uh, destroy all your eggs. Or else, while carrying the huge or large quantity, there may be sh chances of shortage. Or else, if you're not supposed or if you're not capable of selling all the eggs, there may be chances of perishing of Egg. These are the reasons you have. Everything you have to keep it in your mind and the best possible you have to go. That is only EOQ. Now, vice versa. So an ideal ordering quantity should be determined by balancing the cost order against the cost of carrying stock. This is called your economic order quantity. Hope you are clear. Now, carrying cost. Carrying cost is the cost of holding the material in the store and includes. Now, what do you mean by carrying cost? So, whatever things comes under carrying cost, we will understand. First, 
in carrying cost, cost of storage space, bins and racks that have to be provided for the storage of material. So carrying cost means what? Cost of storage space or bin. Bin means boxes. If the quantities are more, you have to bring more boxes to keep the stock. Then cost of maintaining the materials to avoid deterioration. So deterioration means it should not be perished. You have to keep it safely. Then cost of spoilage in stores and handling. So handling has to be very careful. So few things like if you are buying TV or refrigerator on the box, they will mention that handle with care. Why? Because there is a glass item is there. So if you fail to handle properly, there will be chances of breakage. Clear? These all we call it as cost of spoilage in stores and handling. Then cost of obsolescence. Obsolescence means what? Becoming old. Now you may think that I'll buy iPhone 100 pieces, iPhone 12 so that if I take one phone, it will be one lakh. Example, I am telling one lakh. If I take 100 pieces, I'll get it for 75,000. So I'll get 25,000 discount. I can sell it for nine, one lakh 10,000 or one lakh 20,000 to customer. This will be profit for me. Now, you bought 100 phones. As soon as you bought, there is an iPhone 13 released. What happens? As soon as you bought iPhone 12 at 100 quantity at 75,000 each, so that you can sell it to customer at rupees 1 lakh. You are thinking that 25,000 each mobile, I'll get 100 mobiles. 100 into 25,000, it is a huge profit for you. So you'll be dreaming that, but as soon as you collected, as soon as you sold 5 or 6 iPhone, iPhone 13 came. It was released. Now what happens? Your iPhone 12 price got down to 70,000. Your cost itself 75 but in the market it is available at 70. Later no one is ready to buy iPhone 12. They are in a hurry that they should buy iPhone 13. Now this is called obsolescence. Model becomes old as soon the new model arrives. Clear? Yes. Now Next, amount of interest payable on the money locked up in the material. Now, see, so the wholesaler told that if you go for 10, it will be 100 rupees. If you go for 100, it will be like at 70 rupees, you will get each. Now, so because of that, from bank or somebody or from your friend, you have borrowed money on interest. Now, so you are supposed to pay interest for that. Remember that if you cannot sell those assets or units in within a short time means you are supposed to pay more interest whatever you have borrowed. Now, if your stock is more, if you have more stock in your gold on, you will be having insecurity. Then what you should do? You should go for insurance. You have to pay insurance cost also. This is also most important. Clear? Yes, good. So these are your carrying cost. Now, the formula for computing your EOQ. Very simple. The formula is very simple. And same thing like your stock level. If you can remember the formula, you can do the problem. Now, your EOQ. Square root of 2AO divided by C. 2 into A into O divided by C. Now, in this, A stands for annual consumption. O stands for ordering or receiving cost. C stands for cost of carrying. Or as carrying cost. Clear? Yes. So, these are the calculation you are supposed to do. Now, sometimes what happens? Your carrying cost means maximum level minus reorder level plus minimum consumption into minimum reorder time. Never imagine you will not get question like this. Your question will be according to this.
clear whatever formula we have discussed here this will be your problem this is only optional 100% you will not get in your examination only for your reference remember evoq is equal to maximum level minus reorder level plus minimum consumption into minimum lead time you will not get this so always remember for evoq means 2 evo divided by c now, before we get into the problem, we will understand few things about your EVOQ. Now, under EVOQ, assumption in the calculation. Now, price will remain constant throughout the year and quantity discount is not involved. Now, under EVOQ, we have some assumptions. What is assumption like? While watching match, you will assume that uh, Koili will hit, hit 6 for this ball or else this match India will win this match Pakistan will lose so these kind of assumptions we will be having in us now if Dhoni is not there India will not win if Dhoni comes in the fourth down he will hit six these are the assumptions are we have hope on those things that is called assumption similarly in Evo Q we have assumptions which are those like we have assumption that price will remain constant throughout the year. Complete year, the price will not change. It is always constant. This is the first point. Second, pattern of consumption variable, ordering cost per order and variable inventory carrying charge per unit per annum will remain the same. Everything we assume that it will be constant. It will not change. Then, there are dynamic condition. Dynamic means what? Keep changing. Dynamic means keep changing. Now, there are dynamic condition of this supply which enable a firm to place as many order as it needs. So, dynamic means keep changing. There are two things are there. One is static, other one is dynamic. Static means same to same it will not change dynamic means keep fluctuating your power fluctuates dynamic means constant clear yes so these are the assumptions we have we'll go for problem number one on evo q so before that you take down all the theory part so that you can read at home so there is a meaning of your evo q so this is your carrying cost. So the formula for computing EVOQ. Assumption in the calculation. So now we are in problem number. As I told you what is your formula? 2AO divided by C. So it is a square root. Now we will go for first one. Calculate EVOQ from the following. In your examination, you will get one pakka or compulsory question. It may be theory or it may be problem. It will be your five mark question. Now, quantity it is 600 units, ordering cost 12 per order, carrying cost 20% and price per unit it is 20. Now, quantity it is 600 units, ordering cost it is 12 per order. Carrying cost it is 20% and price per unit is 20. Quantity means what? Annual consumption. It is nothing but your A. Ordering cost means what? Your O. Carrying cost. Combination of these two, we call it as carrying cost. You got how to find out? Now, quantity is your annual consumption. Your ordering cost is this one. These two we call it as carrying cost. A, O, C, we got two is common and the square root also common. Now, see in this two A, O divided by C. Now, as I told you, your A is equal to 600 and your O is equal to 12 and your C is equal to you have 20 percent and you have 20 you have to multiply that now this will be 20 into 20 percent 
this will be your calculation. If you are able to identify these three, your 5 marks is done. Now, square root of 2 multiply into A is equal to what? 600. O is equal to 12. And your C is equal to 20 multiplied with 20%. How much you will get? This will be 4. If you multiply all these three, you will get 14,400. If you do final calculation, you will get 60 units. Hope you are clear. Very simple. No need of any explanation for this. Just apply formula and simplify. Now, this is done. This is your problem number one. We'll go to problem number two. So, your problem number two, later I'll give you time to take a screenshot. Now, problem number two, a factory requires 1000 units of an item per month. How many units you want? 1000 units, your annual consumption. Now, consistent rupees 30, the cost per order is 125. Cost per order is 1. 25. Remember, what is your cost per order? 125. Then, and the inventory carrying cost work out 10% of average. So, it is not C, it is O. Cost per order. Order means what? O. 10% of the average inventory, find out the EOQ as a number of order per year. Whatever information they have given, that is per month. So, we don't want per month, we have to calculate for per year. Now, see, simple calculation, annual consumption, 1000 into 12, 12,000. As I told you, whatever information they have provided, that is per month. Make it per annum. Now, this is done. EOQ is equal to square root of 2AO divided by C. 2AO divided by C. Now, square root of 2 multiplied with 12,000. As I told you, ordering cost is how much? 125. Your carrying cost, they have given 10% as well as 30. Yeah, 30. Similarly, your last problem, it was 20 rupees as well as 20%. Similarly, 30 rupees as well as 10%. Now, if you do this calculation, you will get multiply everything. It is 3 lakh. If you multiply this, it will be 3. Your final answer is 1000 units. Now, number of orders per year. Annual consumption is how much? 12,000. What is your final answer? 1000. Per year, 12 orders. You have calculated how many units per order, but how many times you have to order? Very simple. Whatever answer you got before that, your annual consumption divided by your answer, you will get, you have to do 12 times in a year. Clear? Yes. I'll go back to your all slides so that you can take a screenshot. So, this will be your problem number one. Solution for that. Problem number two and solution for this. So this is all about your today's session. In one session, we done and dusted. Means completed with your EOQ topic. So very important for five marks. Whatever we discussed today, that is more than sufficient for your examination. Thank you.